Did you know that your thyroid gland controls almost every function in your body? Yes, 1 in 10 people suffer from thyroid problem without even realizing it. Today, I'll explain everything you need to know about thyroid. Their symptoms, their causes, and how to manage them naturally. Hi, I'm Shoro, a pharmacist with years of experience. In this video, we will deep dive into thyroid problem. What is thyroid? How they influence in our body? How they affect in our body? Their causes, their symptoms, the treatment and some natural remedies. Whether you have been diagnosed with a thyroid condition or just want to learn more, this video is for you. First, we have to know what is thyroid or what is thyroid gland. The thyroid is a small butterfly shaped gland at your front of your neck. It might be a small, but it plays a huge role in your body. Think of it as your body's thermostat. It regulates your body's metabolism, energy level, body temperature, or even your mood, digestion, and brain function also. Why is the thyroid important? The thyroid affects in our every parts of our body. First, metabolism. It controls how fast or how slow your body burns calories. Second, heart rate. The thyroid influences how quickly your heart beats. Third, digestion. Thyroid regulates how fast food moves through your digestive system. Fourth, brain function. Thyroid impacts mood, focus, and memory also. And the last, muscle and the bone health. Thyroid help to grow and the repair our muscle and bone. When thyroid is out of balance, you feel it's everywhere in your body. How does thyroid work? The thyroid produces mainly two hormones. First, thyroxine, which is known as T4. Second, the thyroidothyroid, which is known as T3. Mainly, those two hormones travel, travel through your bloodstream and tell your cell how much energy you need to use. When your thyroid is not working properly, it can throw your entire body out of your balance. Types of thyroid problem and symptoms. There are mainly three types of thyroid problem available like hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism and the goiter. Hypothyroidism is the case where you have less production of thyroid and the hyperthyroidism is the case where you have excess amount of thyroid in your body. We will first discuss about hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism means underactive thyroid. This is when your thyroid does not produce enough hormones. There are the different types of causes is there. First cause is autoimmune disorder. Second, iron deficiency. Third, certain medication contraindication is there, like lithium also there. And fourth, pituitary glands problem. If you have those problem, it may cause hypothyroidism. The symptoms of hypothyroidism is weight gain, fatigue, depression, dry skin and hair, hair loss, slow heart rate cold intolerance and the constipation also. Now we are going to talk about hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism means overactive thyroid. Occur when your thyroid produces much hormone. Cause uh, Graves disease is also an autoimmune disorder. Second, thyroid nodules, excess iron take. The symptoms of hyperthyroidism is weight loss, even with your normal eating and anxiety, rapid heart rate, palmitation, and the excessive uh, sweating, heat intolerance, uh, shaky hands, frequent bowel movement. In the hypothyroidism, you will gain weight. In the hyperthyroidism, you will lose weight and you will feel more fatigue. In the hypothyroidism, you will have constipation uh, every time and the hypothyroidism is having almost loose motion is there. And the third problem is goiter. Goiter is a thyroid 
Swale, thyroid gland Swale. Is a goiter is an enlarged thyroid due to the iron deficiency of hormonal imbalance. Symptoms is visibly showing sw swelling neck and difficulty of swelling and the breathing also. How thyroid disease diagnosis? For, for diagnosis of thyroid disease, doctor runs mainly different types of types of tests is there. Like THS blood test means thyroid stimulating hormone blood test, free T3, free T4, and total T3 and total T4 count in your body. Like THS means thyroid stimulating hormone. And the normal range of THS is 0 0.5 to 5 micro IU per mole. If it is high, it indicates you have hypothyroidism, means underactive thyroidism is there. If TSH is low, it means you have hyperthyroidism. And there is other uh, test is there, free T3 and free T4. The range of free T3 is 2.3 to 4.2 PG per mole. If it is high, it means you have hyperthyroidism. If it is low, you have hypothyroidism. Along with free T4, uh, like thyroxine FT4. If the normal range of FT4 is 0.2 to 2 ng per TL. If it is high, it means you have hyperthyroidism. If it is low, you, it means that you have hypothyroidism. There's also count of total T3 and total T4. Through all those tests, doctor diagnosed uh, you have disease of thyroidism. Medication for thyroid problem. I told there are mainly two types of thyroid problem. Hypothyroidism means you have less production of uh, thyroid in your body and the hyperthyroidism means you have excess production of thyroid hormone in your body. For hypothyroidism treatment, the most common treatment is levothyroxine. It is a chemical ingredient, a synthetic thyroid hormone that repress what your body not producing. It is important to take on empty stomach to avoid certain food like soya or iron supplement that can interfere with the absorption. And the second is hyperthyroidism, means excess amount of thyroid produced in our body. For this hyperthyroidism, there is a specific anti-thyroid medication is there, like methimacazole. And radioactive iodine is also used for hyperthyroidism. Now we are going to know natural remedies for thyroid health. For Thyroid health, there is some natural remedies is there. First, diet and nutrition. For hypothyroidism, means you have ex you have uh, you don't your body don't produce enough thyroid hormone in your body. For hypothyroidism, focus on food rich in iodine, like sea, wheat, selenium, like bra Brazilian nuts, zinc is there, pumpkin seeds from we can get. For hypothyroidism, try to avoid gyrogenic food like raw broccoli in large amount of amount as they interfere with the thyroid function. For hyperthyroidism, that means your body already produces excess amount of thyroid in your body. So you have to eat some calcium rich food like soya, dairy, milk, and you have to try avoid uh, iodine rich food. Second natural remedies is uh, stress management. Our stress also influence in thyroid functions metabolism. Uh, you have to maintain your stress. Stress can be influenced thyroid. You have to practice yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercise to keep your uh, stream uh, thyroid level normal. Third is supplement. Supplement are also very effective for the maintaining the thyroid. Uh, like vitamin D is very important for maintaining the thyroid along with omega 3 and ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is the adaptogen for the thyroid uh, function metabolism. Fourth is exercise. Uh, for uh, maintaining a healthy thyroid level, you have to do regular exercise, walking, swimming, and some all the time also uh, heavy uh, extreme workout also there. For maintaining good health condition, you have to follow those diet. Uh, stress management and supplement. It will help to maintain the thyroid level in your body.
if you find this video helpful please give comment and like and share with your friends who might need it, this video uh, don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel showrooms is learning for more healthcare tips uh, and advice follow me if you have any doubt just comment below i'll give answer have a good day thank you